Hello and welcome back and as today's rather provocative title suggests I want to show you guys today how to use your NAS to help fight COVID-19. Let's be honest it's affected all of us whether we're self-isolating, not able to go to work and working from home or just generally worried for our friends and family and it's quite a large situation that we're all living in right now that we hope is going to end sometime soon but one of the ways in which you can help do this is to utilize your network attached storage device in your home or business environment that may or not may not be accessed right now as much as it could be and use its resources to divert it towards medical research now I've talked about this here on the channel a few times in the past, but nowhere near with such laser guided focus as I'm going to do today. Now, in the past, there has been a program or an organization as well uh, um, and method of research known as BOINC or BOINC as I'm going to call it for the rest of this video, B-O-I-N-C. Now, this has been utilizing the system resources of NASIs, PCs, Macs and more to harness that uh, all this hardware that you don't use all of the time even though the device is on all the time to be used towards research with creating simulations of viruses and infections so basically simulating spreading of viruses and to try to preempt them and come up with cures and ways to fight it otherwise known as therapeutics now these are you know very hard bits of research to create and that's why having supercomputers or ultra supercomputers can be advantageous now supercomputers much like when people have tried to mine bitcoins and stuff like that can be kind of circumnavigated by utilizing lots of smaller systems working on smaller bits of code and that's where your nas comes in when you're not accessing it for business or pleasure for watching movies or running vms or just backing up these systems sit dormant in the corner doing nothing in standby. So why not utilize these devices in that way? Now, you, um, Boink has been one of those programs for a long time that's been dedicated to general research where these resources have been targeted toward things um, like um, SARS and Ebola uh, vaccines and stuff like that. And now they're being channeled towards COVID. Another one is folding at home and that's another one that you can install inside your device in a couple of ways and allow it to channel its currently unused hardware towards these um, therapeutics being designed. Now one analogy they talk about quite a lot and how this is helpful is an analogy they always use towards football and sports. Now once they have an analysis of an infection what they're looking at is like a freeze frame well, even if they break it down to a molecular level they can see the proteins and the atoms and how they move and what they're doing but they can only see a snapshot and as i say the analogy they generally use is to do with sports when you've got players all over a field and they're kind of in freeze frame and what they need to know is how these are moving where do they move where do the common symmetries live where all of these proteins and atoms dance in a certain way and to do that requires just millions of different computations and variations so they need to simulate it and that's where your system comes in now to order to do that you're going to need to install one of two programs now these programs are again community resourced and created so what you are doing you have to kind of balance security and stuff in your own mind but right now this is being done by so many millions of people that i think if there's any problems we'd know by now now First and foremost is um, Boink. Now, Boink can be installed in one of two ways. It can be installed either as a container or directly onto a Linux VM. The reason I say both of these options is the container application is far more efficient. And if you're using a Synology, you're going to have to install Docker. If you've uh, got a QNAP, you're going to need Container Station. And if you're utilizing these two programs um, as a container, they've all got their kind of um a, a registry that you can access like a store and you can just search for um boink or you can search for um folding at home and you'll find them and then you can just install them but running a registry is like running an even more complex version of dos everything's command line and although there are guides at their respective um websites uh, boink and folding home they're not that straightforward for the layman so 
you might want to utilize these programs but you may seem you may feel very very intimidated by that and that's why the second option which although not very um, user uh, not very efficient by comparison is to install a Linux VM on one of these devices and again a Linux VM can be installed and created very very easily with Synology's virtual machine manager or utilizing QNAP's virtualization station or Linux station or some of the Linux programs that are available from Asus Store as well they've got a few third-party ones there along with VirtualBox and once you've installed that VM you can then install an execution version of both boink and folding at home these are unpacked way way more easily they have a whole graphical user interface and you can dedicate 100 percent of the resources from this virtual machine linux uh, vm to the software and it's not as efficient because you are adding another layer on your hardware but it's still better than nothing so if you're worried about the more complex version being too much too intimidating for you then go for the Linux version, which is very, very easy. It just requires creating a Linux VM, and I've done loads of videos on that. Just scroll down. It's bound to have been in the last week. Alternatively, if you've got a bit more now, or you want to get your hands a bit dirty and want to get more efficient, go for the container station version. Hopefully, there is a guide on NAS Compares right now that's linked to in the description, which should show you how to do this. If not, there'll be one very soon, and hopefully there's been some graphics throughout this too. Thank you so much for watching, and you know, if we work together, we can all get through this. I'm already, you can probably hear it in the background, I've got several NASs just constantly trundling out these two programs on container form on different platforms. Let's all do our bit together and get through this. Stay safe. If you've enjoyed this, click like. If you want to learn more, click subscribe and do share this with anyone who's got a NAS that's sitting there doing naffle that they could be doing something good with it. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.